Hey guys. So makeup artist Patrick Ta developed a new blush technique that flies in the face of conventional wisdom. Normally in makeup artistry, we are taught to set creams with powder. Well, with the blush technique that he developed, he does it the other way around. And I watched a video of him doing this and the end result was very pretty. So I want to try it out for myself today. And I really hope that I like the results of this because how much fun would that be to go through your blush collection, pairing up things, cream and powder blushes and trying to figure out which ones you have that are the same color because he has a whole line of blush compacts that are cream and powder. Well, I don't need to buy any of those because I have tons of blushes. So all I'd have to do is take all my blushes and lay them out and pair them up and see which ones would go with what. Um, so I hope this does work. So we're going to test this technique out today. So I have done all my makeup with the exception of blush and highlighter. So what he does is he takes a powder blush first and I'm going to use the um, blush from the LA Colors Just Vibing Collection called XOXO. And to me, this is a peach, um, but it could also be considered like a, a rosy beige. Uh, it just depends on how you see color. But it to me, it looks very peachy. So I'm going to take my Essence Blush Brush. And I'm just going to give it a couple of small taps. We don't want to go crazy because we are going to put a cream blush in a corresponding color on top of this. So the way he did it in the video, he brushed sideways across the apples of the cheek. So that is what he did. Okay, so yeah, you can barely see that, but that was done intentionally. So tap, tap. I can see it better in real life than you can on camera. So that is what he did. So we just have a hint. You know what? I need just one more tap on this side. I can barely see that. Okay, but in real life, I can see it just fine. Then he takes a cream blush, and we're going to take the LA Colors Cream Gel Blush from the Madly Marvelous collection in the shade Orchid, and we're going to put some of that on top. Oh, wow, I haven't used this one yet. Okay, uh, if you buy any of these, be very, very careful when you take that little tab thing out because if you don't hold it in this direction, it's going to come squirting out. So yeah, be very careful. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. I'm going to squirt it up. Whoa, I squeezed too hard. And I'm going to put some on my beauty blender. And I'm going to get the cap back on so I don't make a mess. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tap this on top. Okay. So tap, tap on top. Then I'm going to go over to the flat side. And by the way, this makeup sponge is um, damp, not soaking wet. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I like it. Now I'm going to take what's left on here and maybe just 
bring it down just a tiny bit more. Because I, I did it very high, which is fine, because that will give you lift. But I really want to just do that entire apple area. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I like it. Wow. Very nice. Yeah, who would think to put a cream blush over powder? So, you know, these are the kind of things that a creative makeup artist comes up with, you know, trying different things. I love using my products in ways that aren't done conventionally to figure out different ways of doing things. Like if you watch my videos, then you know that I normally, I forgot today, figures, but normally I take a uh, contour stick by LA Colors and use that as a base for my eyeshadows. I, I don't know, I wasn't concentrating today and I forgot, um, but that's not something that people normally do is take a contour stick and use it as an eyeshadow stick. And I also do it strategically, like I don't put it all over my lid. I just put it in the crease in the outer corner. I forgot today, so I don't have it on. But yeah, when when you get creative with makeup, you don't necessarily do things the same way that other people do them, because there is no wrong way to do makeup. It's makeup, so you just do what you want to do. But yeah, I like that. So if you have a cream and powder blush that are the same color or very, very close, um, try this technique out. I think you will be pleasantly surprised. So uh, yeah, he, those blushes that he has are $38 at Sephora, and I don't feel the need to go out and buy one of those because all I need to do is go through my blush collection now and figure out what other ones I have that will work um, together that are the same color. Now what about highlighter? I still want to put my highlighter on and I had planned today on using, what did I do, put it back? Wow, I'm losing it, you guys. <laughs> I just used this LA Colors Too Cheeky highlighter in the shade Outshine. I used that as my brow bone and inner corner highlight, and I had it over here next to me, but I couldn't see it. Have you ever been looking at something, and you're looking and looking, and you know it's there, but you just can't see it? Oh my God. Yeah, I'm losing it. So I was planning on also using this as my face highlighter today. This is like a, a pale gold, I guess you would say. So I'm going to wipe off the excess off the brush. And then I'm going to dot this like that on my face. And I'm going to use my finger. So dot, dot, dot. So that combined with that blush technique, I like it. I like it even more. Wow. So yeah, try this out at home, you guys, with any blushes that you have that correspond in color, and uh, I think you'll like it. So thanks for watching and trying out something new with me today. Bye.